the first step towards upholding these principles and addressing their breach is to put an end to the illegal unilateral measures, notably in Jerusalem, including those aiming to undermine the historic status quo and the Hashemite custodianship. Mr. President, peace is still possible. Less probable every single day, but still possible. Whatever leverage you have, whatever tools are at your disposal, whatever influence you enjoy, they must be used now or it will no longer matter later. Now to return to the ICJ resolution. This resolution was not just another step of the Palestinians towards resolving the conflict. It was a clear unilateral step initiated by the Palestinians with the sole purpose of destroying Israel as the Jewish state. But this is not news. Destroying the Jewish state has always been the Palestinians' only goal and they aim to do so by any and every means. Yet, with the adoption of this resolution, the Palestinians stabbed a knife in the heart of any chances for dialogue or reconciliation. They proved that they are not interested in dialogue. We continue to oppose unilateral actions that endanger stability and the viability of a two-state solution. This includes actions to the historic status quo at the Haram al-Sharif Temple Mount. This includes settlement building and the legalization of outposts. And this includes annexation, acts of terrorism, and incitement. Colleagues, this is a delicate moment for the future of peace between Israelis and Palestinians. Let us do everything in our power to reduce tensions and keep the hope of a two-state solution alive. Let us do everything in our power to advance regional peace and integration, and let us do everything in our power to support the, regime's most, uh, the region's most vulnerable.